people who we're going to be hearing from this year have gone off script, both in terms of regulatory and scientific progress. I think you'd call it in a movie about a set of wild-eyed scientists who did not follow the rule, they've gone rogue. We've never witnessed in science this kind of acceleration in, in biomedicine. The closest that I can recall to this rate of progress is the rapid acceleration we had around microelectronics in the 60s to 70s. Why did we invite Karen Aish? Imagine you have a child, a child that has a rare disease, a disease that really limits your child's life and functioning. What would you do? Would you try to find the best doctor? Would you try to find a therapy that's being provided by a unconventional vendor? Or would you say, I'm going to take the best that science has to offer and I'm going to use, for example, gene therapy to address this need. She was in the financial industry. She went from having no involvement in the biotech industry to founding a biotech specifically for the treatment of these storage diseases using gene therapy. What's driving precision medicine? Why is that important? How does society meet the scientific imperatives and opportunities of precision medicine? Why do I say the patients take over? Matthew Might was able to bring along the diagnosis of his child and accelerate the finding of a cohort group and then even the beginnings of finding useful therapies. The timeline for this kind of effort in the conventional realm would have been much more elongated. And Matt compressed it from a decade to less than a year. And for those who have family members and loved ones who are in peril, it's that compression that drives the finding of new therapies. But will it actually compress the timeline overall in medicine? And I think the answer is yes. But seeing done by individuals who have much less resources than the establishment will tell young investigators that they too can actually do the same. And I think what we'll see is a hurrying of the translation from basic science to trials to application. You can make a difference. Go rogue. Don't wait for the cure. Go rogue.